Ooh, what is up guys, and of course, welcome to another video from your truly, the Skyrender. And today's Pocket Topics video is going to be about, can water type be offensive? What I mean by that is not of course specially offensive, because they definitely figured that one out, but they're still like in the physical offensive apartment, and I kind of want to reach on that, which Pokemon that are viable, or should have been viable for that role, but also, can they be it, or are they severely lacking? And uh, as you guys may or may not know, special water type was primarily the only thing that existed until Generation 4. Water type was a special typing. Every move, even waterfall to this day, was specially orientated. So there's no doubt there is a reason it was special typing, and it still fundamentally and primarily are. But things started to change as, of course, Generation 4 came out. Take, for example, Grass and Fire type to both get actually Woodhammer and, of course, Flare Blitz and a really, really big physical oriented move pool for the few physical or physical Pokemon from that typing. And well, Water did not get that. Water type till this day is actually still locked into Waterfall. There hasn't been any water move introduced outside of Aqua Tail, which primarily is the same thing uh, since the generation, I do believe that's one. So that's actually kind of insane, it's still the strongest water type move is actually locked into waterfall with an 80 base attack, which is, for all sales and purposes, very, very weak. And not only that, there really aren't that many physical water types to begin with. Now obviously we have the likes of a Sumeril and Veraligator as you can see on the screen, which of course has an ability that ensures that at least they hit harder, but they are not famous for their attack, hell. Even, I do believe they actually are as as specially orientated as they are physical when it comes to how strong they really can be. Like I said, it is their abilities that makes them a bit stronger and of course makes them primarily good. That also goes for the likes of Crawdont, which due to its ability at least hits harder, but still lacking. So right, with that said, we're actually going to look at the top 10 physical strongest war types in uh, the meta right now. So we're going to exclude the Mega Pokemons though, due to their natural evolution, of course, making them stronger. So the likes of Mega, Swampert, Jardos, and of course, Sharpedo is going to be excluded from this list. So also goes for Ubers such as, of course, Palkia and uh, Kyogre. So with that said, these are the top 10 physically strongest water type Pokemon in the meta right now. So the absolute strongest physical water type is actually Kingler, if you don't count the Mega, at 130. That is followed with Jardos at 125. Chrono Torpedo sharing that at 120. Cavitas 115. Swampert and Volcanion is sharing 110 there. Karakas at 108. Octillery, Krabby, Float Seal, Fralligator and Barbell Barracle at 105, which is just awesome. Uh, Huntail at 104. And then Samurai and Manaphy at 100. And if I wanted to actually make this a real top 10, because you see it only 9 spots there due to so many sharing, but this last one would go to semi four of 98. But that's really about it. Like, if you count all the regular mods here and how physically offensive they can be, then these are pretty much the Pokemon that can be just that. Uh, and um, if you really look into this list, you kind of realize kind of fast that Volcanion, Octillery, um, and the Manaphy are definitely not famous for their physical capabilities, but more, of course, about the special. Manaphy definitely would have called Tailglow and whatnot. That kind of goes for Float Seal, too, definitely works well in a special offensive area, and so does Karakasta. Swamper can go mixed. So there really are very few that are fundamentally forced to be physical. The likes of Kingler, Jardos, uh, Crodon, and Cabotops definitely stands out, of course. But, uh, and yeah, I think that's about it. And even that Krabby makes it due to 105 attack, kind of funny. It's actually it's actually kind of funny. But yeah, like I said, there, these guys are definitely the strongest. But that's about it. Like I said, these, this typing is, like, have been severely crippled. Or it's not crippled, it's actually one of the best typing in the whole game. But it doesn't have any physical real attacker. And the ones that are best have ability to boot that and not the other way around. I mean, Assumeril, of course, would probably be number one if we actually was to include their, its ability, because if that, that's the case, then it's easier, stronger than Kingler, without a doubt. Kingler's actually, well, let's say as it is, it, it's shit. It, it's a very bad mon. 
Um, so the reason I should bring this up is not because I want I already close to broken typing more broken, but I really want to just showcase that this is actually the stand of the physical side of war type. And it has been ever evolving since generation four, you know, got at least, you know, some recognition, I guess you should say, while grass and fire type, of course, had been more and more um, oriented to be able to do both. Special type on uh, war type is the only one that has been ever evolving, like a steam eruption is called, which of course is ever evolving, and this war type is more and more becomes a special typing, even though it has the accessibility to be both, but the physical side is kind of excluded, and is much like the electric type really when it comes to how it's able to be treated, and um, one could really see why. It's not only because, well, there aren't too many attacks to actually boot, of course, the physical side of uh, war typing, but there really aren't that many in the first place to kind of make that typing better. So, with that said, it's actually it's kind of funny seeing that there are things there to be, I guess one could say, worked on or at least developed further uh, when it comes to war typing. It's not complete by any sense of the imagination, it's just that the special side are so well developed that the physical side just is it's forgotten because it's kind of bad. So, the way I want to see it is I definitely want to see, of course, uh, a better physical move pool, or at least a physical stab move, being, of course, something in the likes of a Woodhammer and Flare Blitz. I don't mind recall, most, most water types tend to be somewhat bulky, which would help a few of these. Of course, Crawdon, for example, with adaptability, would be another kind of monster, <laughs> for sure. And, um, yeah, that is definitely the first thing I want to see, and the other one is some kind of variety. Because if you don't see it yourself, you kind of realize that the dual typing is not really that diverse when it comes to what counts as a physical move. Outside of the single typing ones, it seems to be that the second or close to second strongest is definitely <laughs> water dark typing. And then we have you know, the standards of you know a simple combination of water and rock, of course, Karakas and Kabatops. Then with the water ground, with of course um, Swamp Earth, and of course the water fire with uh, Volcanion, but it doesn't seem like it's going to ex or be ever further development. The rest is actually single type water types. No secondary stab, which means that their extra attack doesn't necessarily mean anything. I actually forgot to... Ex it's Kevitops, Caracosta, and Barbarical even. That's how bad it is. But yeah, like I said, it's, it's not as diverse as it is right now, and due to that, it's kind of unnerving seeing these guys, you know, trying to be something they just can't be. Even if the stats are there, the move pool isn't there, and probably the dual combination type is definitely not there outside of Swampert. Probably in the more unique and more offensively pressured one, sadly somewhat slow, and therefore is rarely seen. That kind of goes for the Mega Form too, really, if one had to include it. But yeah, it's actually it hasn't been any new. Pokemon that's outshined the older ones since Generation 3, basically. One could include Barbarical and Float Seal, but really, they are not showcasing much more than what's already existing, and that is just both kind of sad and, well, one, one could say unfair for the typing itself. So, what are your thoughts? Like I said, her. I'm not trying to make this already close to broken typing better, I just want to see something else done with it. And these are, well, the mods that need something better. If anything, they deserve something better. Hell, the typing needs to be more diverse than it is right now. For being a special split, or physical special split in generation 4, it definitely isn't showcasing when it comes to war typing alone. And I do believe in that it's not an issue, but it's something that could be worked on, and hell, it probably could change the meta somewhat if word typing was not a primarily special type, at least not to the extent that it is today. So with that said guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to make of course your own comments on what you want to see, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care, bye.